Here we're going to show you how to assemble an Antminer S17 Pro. Before sliding in your hashboards it's good practice to inspect the main chassis and remove any debris that could be stuck in there. We slide the boards in with the I.O. ports and terminals facing up. The tracks are milled in pairs but we're only using the leftmost groove on each track. We make sure the top of the board slides in the leftmost groove on the top track as well. We can then plug in the I.O. cables following the proper cable management. It's good practice to fasten the top hood before the fan plate. It makes it easier to retrieve screws and brackets when they fall inside the ASIC miner. Once the hood is screwed back in place we can plug the bus bars in the hashboard terminals. To do so we simply push down on the bus bar and slide it into position over its proper node on the PSU. We'll now switch to a 1 8 inch hex bit to bolt the bus bars to the PSU. We loosely tighten the first bolt of each bus bar before putting on the second one. This makes it easier to align the second bolt and the PSU. Afterwards we lower the power on our drill and switch back to a Phillips bit. We can now ground the chassis to the negative bus bar with this bracket. With the smallest Phillips 1 screws we're going to fasten the ground bracket and the PSU. We can now put the cap back on the unit and lightly tighten the four top screws. We then close the fan plate by tightening the four corner screws. A good tip to get to the bottom fan screws easily is to push the unit to the edge of your workbench. Once the unit is assembled we do a visual inspection. The fan's intake should suck in cold air through the front of the unit. And the exhaust should blow out the hot air out the back of the unit. Finally we give the miner a gentle shake to hear if there's any rattling inside. Consider subscribing for more ASIC Miners Maintenance Guidelines.